A man known as the Wish Doctor has freed the people of Lot of their curse in exchange for a favor from I, Gillian Tidestrider, at a future time to be determined. Mayor Lofin and his daughter Abigail are safe for now, but I shudder at the thought of someone preying on the wishes of the innocent. My name is Gillian Tidestrider and I never wish to deal with moral gray areas ever again. But in case I do, I will just roll with it. How do I usually start this? I forget, just do it. What's up, everybody? Ayo! 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 A pirate's life for me. Arf. Welcome back to Just Roll With It, episode 9. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. I almost yes, forgot for is. a second. I am Bizly. I didn't forget. And I played Chip. Surprise. I am Condi, huh. and I played Jay. I am you know Gillian Tide Strider, and I play Charlie Slimesicle. <laughs> Back, backwards. That's right. Oh, We're flipping it's now. Consumed. I've been inhabited. I've been inhabited. I am a fish. <laughs> Where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Killian, made your way to the mysterious man in the North Woods. The person who the mayor of Mornstad told you was the cause of the laughter illness the townsfolk suffered from. You made your way through the woods, through dense mist, and came to a clearing that didn't fit the area before. Sensing it was by magical means, you were surrounded by a serene, beautiful landscape, and you approached a singular building in a field of rolling hills. And finally, the three of you arrived at the home of Niklaus Hendricks, or as he called himself, the Wish Doctor. You were instructed upon arrival that he was only allowing one guest at a time, and before any discussion could be had, Gillian shouted his name and leaped through the doorway. <laughs> Like a deranged Pokemon. <laughs> as, uh, as you came through the door, you were offered your choices by Niklaus. Either deal with the mayor, who he explained was the actual sur source of this cursed wish that affected the island, or accept his offer to owe him a favor in the future in exchange for a happy ending. You requested conditions... One where, ones where if you were bested in battle, you would accept the offer. Because of your nature and proneness to failure, Gillian, the wish doctor leaned forward and his eyes glued that bright green that you had seen around in the forest, your vision vibrating as you felt your head compress and then you were knocked out unconscious instantaneously. When you came to, the contract was sealed in the form of a crescent moon tattoo and you were ejected from the home, along with a rat in a cage. Jay and Chip realized the weight of Gillian's choice, and during that tense, brief conversation, you heard a coughing in the distance. The rat, who you assumed to be Abigail, rushed towards the sound, taking her normal form as you all went, and eventually you were met with the mare hurled over in this clearing. He coughed up this black, oozing liquid. And Gillian once again used divine sense, noticing that the evil essence that once resided in the mayor's chest disappeared. And that is where we pick back up. Ooh. Ooh. I got this sick new bracelet with a little moon on it too. Wait, really? Let me see. Yeah, remember? I, I got. I got. Yeah, I got cursed uh, by the guy. Hang on, let me get a small pen. One sec. Oh, wait, wait. I thought oh, you had an actual bracelet. Sorry. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Moon. No, don't. You don't have Charlie. to do that. Draw a little half moon. Charlie, I am bound. Do I am bound by Pat. Don't packs. do that. Oh, God. Ow! Is it, it hurts. It hurts so bad, but I can't stop. Stop doing this, I Charlie. I got a little moon there. See? Why do you keep doing That's this? Cool. Now I'm in well, character. It's actually much bigger. It's like okay, from yeah, your... Let me, just <laughs> let me get out <laughs> the bigger no, pen. The permanent Sharpie. I can help you. Thank you. Do you have a needle? We need to get it in there. We need to get the ink in there. Um, I want to physically feel the weight of my character's repercussions by getting a tattoo immediately. All right, buddy. Listen, give me a wrist. That's scissors. That's scissors and a Sharpie. 
Give me your wrist. Give okay, your Florida wrist. man, let's start wrist. the episode. Okay. Oh, he's taking it. He's taking it. He's taking it. Give it to me. Give it to me. It to me. It to me. <laughs> no, no, no. Where so, are we? Where so, are we? So, 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 so. You were all standing around the mayor who, at this moment, um, flips around onto his ass and looks at all of you and then looks panicked and he's clutching his stomach. He's got water on, on the bottom of his lip from, from, from all the hurling. Uh, he's drenched in sweat and he just... He looks at all of you panically and, and scared, and he's just, I, what happened? I, no, please don't, don't do anything. Don't say anything. I, I know what you're thinking. And this is, am I all right? And then his, the, the girl, uh, the little halfling girl who night you, as you are looking, has, um, long curly brunette hair with uh, a braid from the middle part down behind the ears. And she has, a. Uh, these, these 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 piercings and she's wearing like a like a, almost like an apron uh like a red apron but it's it's more of a more of like a shirt that that has like overalls uh overall type uh straps and she's not a rat no she's not she's a no she's a rat. really pretty halfling girl and and under that is like a, a white uh a white undershirt um and she 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 kind of kneels down and gets next to her her father and she just says please calm deck please calm down it's okay you're all right now and she looks back at all of you as the both two of them are staring as you guys approach just giving you the option to say anything if you'd like uh yeah i want to push i want to get julian in there man let's get julian in there where is julian you is he even with us i don't know I just want to peek in from behind Gillian's like shoulder, like look, look around. And from behind you, Chip, you hear uh, sounds of the the leaves on the ground crunching as uh, <laughs> Julian comes from behind the tree, and he just says, "Help him fix up his pompadour a little." <laughs> yeah, I get, yeah, we get we get it up there. We get it up there. We get it up there. Okay, so before he yeah, comes out from- Your <laughs> Julian, quick, your pompadour is looking flaccid once- Wait second. a second, hold on, hold on. Pause the dramatic yeah, moment. Can you guys roll a performance check for how well you fix up Julian? F flaccid. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a pompadour before in my life. A flaccid pompadour? Yeah, he's got a flaccid pompadour. I rolled a 13. If you think about it, every hair Whoa. is just flaccid pompadour. Hmm, you're so True. right. Bangs yeah. are just a so what are you, are you using your your natural oils to oil it back up and make sure it stays up and it's no longer flaccid? <laughs> that's what he has oils. I have I have water. I rolled a nine plus four, 13. 12. <laughs> I got a five plus seven. You guys, you guys uh, run over to the behind the tree before he exits, knowing that he would be hiding in this situation uh, and you fix him up. He, his face looks stunned and doesn't even realize that you guys are messing with his hair and whatnot. And you give him a little nudge forward and he kind of slowly takes a step and says, Abby? Abigail. And then he runs uh, He runs towards her and, and she, she her eyes meet his and she says, Oh, Julian. And they hug. Uh, and, and then the mayor, uh, he leans forward. He's huffing and uh, he, he gets into this crisscross Amosau's position and, and just kind of puts his head in his hands and starts rubbing the hair and which you know the hat now is on the floor the big top hat and he looks like a mess I uh you're right please oh. I'm gonna put my arms around the other two yeah. Jay on my left <laughs> uh and I just wanna say he's really doing it he's really doing doing what this is this is girlfriend he's he's got her back it's yeah, it's that's beautiful. that's great. That is <laughs> hey, heartwarming. Man. You're stepping <sighs> on my vibe right now. <laughs> Could you let us go, please, Chip? This is not very bro of you. <laughs> you can just hear him. No, he's, he's, he has his arms. No, around I was grabbing us. I was grabbing. Oh, you guys! Two, I thought you like were watching. hugging. Chip. You, you accidentally no, grabbed him <laughs> instead of me. You accidentally grabbed no. him instead of me. I let him go and get in your arm. I don't know oh, how. Okay. I don't know how Sorry I heard that you went over and hugged both of them. No, I don't know how so he it's mistook so your your small <laughs> shoulders for my <laughs> problems. Yeah, what are, what are you it's doing? It's so funnier if I grabbed him on the right side. And I was just looking over. I'm just standing there. My bad. My bad. And I grabbed. Yeah, sure. Well, Mayor and Abigail, your curse should be lifted as should be the curse on 
Laughing lot, but... Mayor, I must ask. What happened? I was... Okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you what happened here. I was going to ask for the money. Bad, bad time? Oh, of course, of course. Okay. I, um... I have to apologize sincerely, and I still can barely feel my... I feel so numb. I really thought this was the end for me. I, d I did deceive all of you. No. The reasons for, for coming and, and bringing you... This, the man... He promised that that if I... I well, very persuasively, if I, if I brought you three here, it would it would be the, the way I, I would be relieved of the deal that we made. And, and I didn't realize that relieved could have meant of my own death. And I... Why did he want us? <laughs> and then uh, the, uh, the the daughter Abigail kind of stops hugging Julian, and and as uh, the mayor puts his hands, his head in his hands once again, and just starts to weep, she says, "I have spent a lot of time in there, and I I have more of the full story of my my father made a, a deal." And I followed him when he did. I was there and overheard it. And on the surface, you might have thought it was good intentions, but I know my father, Julian, does too. No offense, Papa, but he's a bit selfish. The town fell, did fall, on hard times. We weren't, we weren't able to grow anything. The trees weren't producing any, any good fruit and nor none of the navy nor trade ships ever passed by the island in so long and well this was very very uncomfortable and i followed i followed my father here and whenever he came into this strange Missed, and then we came here. I I saw the man and him, and I hid. But he just asks for everything to be for everything to be right again, and he would do anything. And but really, I I knew that Dad only really looks out for himself. And you just hear the. The, the mayor is, is, is sobbing violently, and <laughs> he, you can tell that what he was going through uh, while here alone in the forest, coughing up that, that liquid, it was, was painful because he just looks pale and distraught. So I am, um, and this is where it gets um, uh, interesting, I am. Um, once my father left, I pleaded with the the man who you now know is Niklaus Hendricks, the wish doctor. I asked him, I, I knew that whatever consequence would be coming to my father, it was not going to be good. So I asked him, what, what could I do to make sure that, that no harm came to my my dad? Because as, as greedy and, and selfish as he can be sometime, I know that he has good... A good heart in there and I didn't want him to die out of desperation and so he said that if he if I stayed with him for a little while and he gave <laughs> that man is there something wrong with him I don't know if you uh, I don't know if you noticed while you were in there but there's definitely not something off I I did see and heard um he said that if I stayed with him for a while, it would he would do his best to keep my dad alive. But I think time was running out just before you three came in. What are your names? It is I, <laughs> Gillian Tidestrider. 
Yeah. And it pains me to know that there is someone out there taking advantage and preying on the wishes of, well, some innocent. I don't know where he came from. Why, why he... Also, why he... this is Chip and Jay. Hi. Oh, um... In my time there, in, in that cage, uh, Niklaus would speak and, and excitedly talk about what he was planning, and when you three arrived, it seemed like a very unexpected but welcomed um, change in his, I guess, his little game that he was playing. Yeah. yeah that's what I was worried about. Um, Listen, all of you caused this problem, and you know, it wasn't our problem. But now, and I hold up Gil's wrist. It is. I put the wrist down. We <laughs> did what we had to do. Okay, we did what we had to do, but now you're in danger, which wasn't the case before we saved you. I'm a little concerned, actually. Um. You said he wanted a favor from you, Gil. <laughs> well, yes. you, what kind of favor could he possibly ask for that would repay for all of this? You realize, we, you know what we're dealing with right now? This man did not have the opportunity to discuss. Cursed the an entire town. Details. He turned this girl into a fucking Told mouse, you. and it's because of this selfish asshole. I point down to the mayor. You made a deal with him. <laughs> yeah, he did. Because he wants to help you. Yeah, and no. you let him there! Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm so sorry! I'm sure you are. Listen, I am yeah. sorry that you people had to endure his sick wishes. Listen. Okay, but now you do, Gil. I don't think you understand. He might make you hurt others! <laughs> he just... He just went on about how... how interesting of a story it would be. He said things like, he fully, uh, at one point, he's, he said he expected the mayor to, to be harmed by, by Julian, and you would never do that right, Julian, and, and the Julian looks at her a little <laughs> hesitantly and he goes, hey, 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 never, <clears throat> I would never do that, never thought about well, it. <laughs> there <wa> right. <laughs> I'm not, look, I'm not a, I'm not a fighter. We we were just. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was shouldn't even be out here in the first place. This is something I would never do. And she goes, "You could have gotten hurt." And I I'm really glad that you didn't go after the mayor like he was talking about it. He said that if I he was talking about it like it was a like it was a game or or a story. He said that me being gone would cause the conflict, and he seemed to know everything was going to go a certain way. Did he specify anything about his plans after that? About his plans? About what would happen after... if Julian did something? No, after the mayor led us there. After this. After the town was lifted. Of its curse, if he truly knew everything would unfold the way it did. The only thing that he said before he... Well, whenever he was around was that... A new, more interesting proposition and, and contract was headed his way. <laughs> it was the plan the whole time. We were marked the second we got here. <laughs> Yet we still have done some good. No, no, we haven't. You know, it sounds like it sounds like to me, Gil, like these problems would have all solved themselves once they, once this fucker died. You know, the city would have been fine. Well, <laughs> well wait, I, wait, hang on, hang on, I tried hang on. that. Hold on, hold on. I listen, oh. you, okay? Oh, you we, mean we the solved mayor. your problem, oh. Mayor, and now we're paying the price. So now you're going to pay the price as well. You're gonna get us a boat. Oh, hang on. And some money. Oh, yeah, that. I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah. You're gonna pay that price. 
Well, I, um, of course, I, 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 I owe you a, a large portion of, of what we have here without removing too much of the, of the funds for the, the, the town. I know that I need to change my ways and I if, regret deeply the choices I have made. Insight check. Go ahead. Insight check. Whoa, finally someone does it. <laughs> 15. Holy shit. 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're looking at the mayor and, and whereas once before he seemed to have um, ulterior motives or, or a sense of, of uh, not looking out for anyone but himself, he looks visibly deflated and defeated, a scar, traumatized even. <laughs> um, like he saw the end of the road. I thought to strike you down when we exited the mist and it was only Chip and Jay that dissuaded me. And now I also sense within you that the evil has left. So in a way, even if you did cause all this, I am glad that I did not. I can see now the error of my path, the darkness that I was going towards as a person, and I would have at one point forgotten about my own daughter. I'm so sorry, Abigail that this ever happened and that you would do something to try and protect me. It's all my fault and I I owe all of you very much and I genuinely hope that at the very least this this deal that you've made is has at least saved everyone else who did not deserve the backlash of my decision. If I must strike down a good man because of this pact, I will make sure that those who have always had my back strike me down first. I, I, lo I look at like a chip, yeah. No one's striking anyone down. We're not not killing anybody, okay? I mean, what can he can he make you? He can't make you, right? I do can not just know scrape the it nature off. of here. this. Okay. Let me, let me try. Come here. I want to lick, lick my finger <laughs> lick and like, it off. grab it. Grab it. DM, let does it actually... work? Does he lick it off? No. What? But as you're, what? As you're... That didn't work? Dude! <laughs> as you grab uh, Gillian's wrist and you're licking your fingers and rubbing on the on this on this marking, yeah, I maybe if see you that. lick it directly. And and uh. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and and getting a closer look at it, you see that this uh, crescent moon on his wrist in in the middle of it uh and and finer print and on smaller letters oh, is sure. uh is an n and a k but the last line of the n and the fur and the main line of the k are shared mm, okay is this is this something i could i would recognize at yeah all? i wanted to do that check i messaged grizzly i was about to ask that uh, is will i see any history like would there be anything i know about it at all um I would like to ask where his you name guys... was Nicholas Hendricks, right? So yes. it was Niklaus Hendricks, yes. It wasn't Nicholas. Kendricks. No. Kendricks. Okay. <laughs> Niklaus Hendricks. Um, okay. So where 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 do you? I want to ask where you guys uh, like in your history where you would might have uh, like you know did you find a book? Did you overhear it? Just to determine I mean, if this is like a history check or is well just read. a basic intelligence check. I mean, I guess if I would have seen it, it would have been through uh, someone else, like just on on the street, maybe. Mm, book. Jay would have what? Book. She's well okay. read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, then you make a history check. 23. Chip. Six. Six. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, Chip, you're looking at this and you think it's just a fucking tattoo of a moon. Pretty art. That's really Most cool. people get that on their ankles, basic bitches and whatnot. However, Jay, <laughs> no offense to anybody with a moon tattoo. I love it. I love it too. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I kind of walk up and I, like, I oh grab, I grab his you, hand and I get like a closer Chip, look. It's my Zodiac. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're looking really at it. Head -ass skill. That's and so Leo of you to say. You Will you stop being would, Capricorns for a second? You would know that um, in many like historical uh, or or fictitious, fic, fictional fictional books, fictitious, um, yes. yeah. So both like historical uh, 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 books that are about like um, like ancient like stories and uh, and theories or or ideas and or or, or just stories. Um, Fable. Uh. Uh, yes, that's it. So, okay. and like, in like, like historical fables or, or fictional stories and, and, and those kinds of things, the moon, this particular, uh, crescent or, or phase of the moon, uh, would represent corruption. <laughs> <laughs> that's like not a good answer. <laughs> I look up at Guild very, just very worried. I'm like, but this is, this is, um, <laughs> with a 23 you would also uh know that in the same stories or in the same sense the other the alternate or the um antagonistic symbol would be the sun for freedom and life but those yeah. are just uh, that's what you know from from reading yeah just like just generally yeah I don't that know doesn't if... mean yeah, I don't know if I would like actually say anything about that, but so just kind of rubbing it off. I don't think okay. it's gonna rub Looks off like it, chip. I think it is smudging a little chip. I think I see a little smudge there. No, I think that's a bug. I'll add that it's similar to the yin and yang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like the yang. I killed yeah, the bug. Yeah, yeah. Instead of the instead of the yin and yang, it'd be the sun and the moon. Okay. Wait, I have that's both the on the most, wrist or that's just the simple. moon? No, 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 just the moon. Okay. That's a simplified version of uh, of explaining what it, what you know. Cool. This doesn't look good, Gil. Why? It's the moon. I like the moon. <laughs> it can't be good. Well, obviously it's not good, but like... I killed a bug. Person of Another one? Kidding. Oh my god. Another yeah, one. Wait, wait. If, in, all, in all the books I read as a kid, the moon in, in a crescent like this it, it means corruption. And that guy seemed kind of straight out of a fairy tale to me. You know, just the entire area didn't seem real. Yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, you sure, sure you did. I knew it. I knew it was when I first saw it. Corruption. Well, very well. If I do try to, uh, if I become corrupt, strike me down, will you? Put a swift end to my life. I'm not going to kill you. you down, man. You'll know what? if something is going to happen to you because the amount of voices in your head will multiply. And you will not be able what? to function. That's what it right felt like. Right now, I have one, and it is Gillian Tide Strider. If I have two, J Chip, I ask that you do strike me down where Stop I stand. Stop saying that! I'm Look, not going okay. to kill you. <laughs> he's been one step ahead of us the whole time. All right, he, he's had his plan. He's been pulling his little strings, and he got us where he wants us. There's a weak spot in my armor right here. We should have just so left. Why didn't we? Stop oh, we didn't saying tell that. A uh, boat. <laughs> Listen, uh, and, uh, Julian steps forward. I, I can't imagine what kind of, what kind of weight this has put on everybody now. <laughs> and I, I'm not, look, I'm not obviously not a fighter like I was saying, but if, it, but I'm grateful that you got Abigail back. She's safe, it seems. And I can't sense any of that disease that was floating in the air before. <laughs> but I... Well, Abby and I actually can help with the bow problem now. Now oh, that she's you back. Can. You can get me a boat. <laughs> Us a boat. <laughs> Thank you. She, she sort of looks down and, and her, Don't even. Her, her, her face is, uh, flushes a little bit. Well... <laughs> We actually met because, um, Julian is a very skilled, uh, woodworker, and, and I, I like designing, 
schematics in, in ar architecture. And we sort of bonded over that fact. And, well, you know, we shouldn't be too hard to figure out how to, how to float wood on the water. I mean, if there's anything we could do to repay the three of you for, for taking such a sacrifice, clearly. And the mayor will give you all of his gold that I, that I can cough out of him, I swear it. I swear by the book of family name. The mayor is just dead down. Like, he can, he can feel the, the sense of fucking... Guilt. Like to, we will also need a, a bushel of your finest oranges. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. One I second, wanna, please. I need to. I have heard much of scurvy in my time above. I want to lean my head in and I want to say, like, to between, um, between Abigail and, uh, What's the guy's name? God, why am I Julian? Julian. 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 Yeah. I know. I, um, I get it. I want to. I want to <laughs> lean my head in between them and say, "How do you feel about the name Huge Chipper?" <laughs> I hate mean, it. for your ship. Bingo. Uh, yeah, we can engrave it on the side or something. Oh, Just depends I'm on the which. The more complex. I imagine it's gonna be the you know, uh, my 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 boys you know the the group. We we could we could you know try and work I'm, as efficiently as possible, but like, I'm just dancing around like just. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, I may assist you. I have seen about two or three boats. Well, we don't really need. I think help. I understand how All it of works the, now. The rest of the gnomes and. and I mean, that's kind of what we did before, all of the fucking laughing and shit. <laughs> Very well, but if you do need my assistance, feel free to call upon it. Again, I have maybe three. I've Maybe I've seen three boats. I saw a small raft and once a log floating. Wait, gonna... wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to approach the mayor at this point. Just, yeah, still sitting there, just crushed by immense amount of guilt. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up to him. I'm gonna Sex kneel design. down, like kind of, you know, squat down in front of him. And you, I think you should resign from mayor after all this. <laughs> I stop dancing. Just look over. At him. <laughs> you don't <laughs> deserve this position. <laughs> you know how much suffering you put the people through, your own daughter through, <laughs> and for what? Your own selfish needs. Would you like to intimidate or persuade? Uh, intimidate. Fuck it. I'm. Bro, is she laughing or are you laughing right now? I'm not laughing. Well, she was like in character. She'd like for your own selfish needs, like that. Like okay. that was my own. Yeah. Scary. Roll it. Fifteen. Hey guys, it's me, Charlie Slimesicle by day, Gillian Tidestrider by night, and William Wisp on Patreon, which absolutely you should go check out if you haven't. Seriously, uh, the reason we can bring this show to you is in a huge amount due to our patrons over on Patreon. Bisley runs a second campaign over there called Prime Defenders, which is a superhero themed Mutants and Masterminds campaign where I play as a mystery solving teen with all the powers of a will-o'-wisp. I, I love it as, listen, don't let Grizzly hear this, all right? But I do love it as much as the main campaign and we're all pouring our heart and soul out over there. So you do not want to miss out on it. It is super easy to access. All you gotta do is just head over to patreon.com slash just roll with it and become a patron, support the show, help us keep rolling. Also, if you discuss the episode or have awesome fan art, please post it on Twitter with the hashtag JRWIShow. We will all see it, and we absolutely love to see it. Thank you so much, everyone that listens to or supports the show at all, and let's get right back in. <laughs> the mayor starts to choke up and well, the tears well up in his face again, and he's just... Retirement is probably a good idea. <laughs> But I must 
spend my time in retirement making it up. Yeah, that would be for the best, I think. We were comfortable, and I guess I just got used to it. You never know how susceptible you are to the deadly sins until you're already too far gone, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think Julian has shown a great display of leadership. Perhaps she should be... He should be the new mayor. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he's great. He's excellent. Yeah. So brave. Julian, you showed much courage venturing into the mists with us. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, but see, see the leadership, Down man. on one knee, Julian. Oh shit, he doesn't get down on one knee at first. What's his name? What's his name? What's his last name? Do I know? Bookers. Yeah, he's, he said oh, it. Oh, it's Booker. Julian, Julian Booker. Julian Booker. <laughs> I knight him. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a knight, a knight speech? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Down on one knee, Julian Booker. He just looks at Abigail very hesitantly and she gives a, a mm-hmm. I got like a nice <laughs> a nod of approval. <laughs> <sighs> he gets down on one knee. By the force of the sea. By the light of the moon. Analyze women. Rise, Julian Booker, Knight <laughs> of Lof and Lot. And I just what? do the basic two sword mm -hmm. thing. And then as he starts to rise, I just pull out this bowl of water out of nowhere and just fucking like throw <laughs> it in his face. <laughs> 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 Let oh, this Jesus. water Boom! purge you of your past sins. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We and just as it fades, he let those guilts wash away. Welcome to your new life. I predator handshake him and pull him out to his feet. Uh -huh. my forearm. We, we just we just knighted Julian. Um, I, you know, I, I thought like there was a lot of other people who were much more capable. He seems kind of. Like I have a never coward. seen a blade I'm not, such as yours. I'm I say not entirely so certain that comb. he's gonna do what's right for this town either. But you know, just let, just, just let it happen. Everyone, everyone, right. listen. This, listen. I already got some problems. Don't need these. That's fair. <laughs> there is much I, evil still here somewhere, and I trust you, above all others, to comb it out. I don't... <laughs> I oh my god, I <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That was a good one, Gil. Uh, uh, look, this is all... I appreciate... Throw another bowl of water in his face. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you kidding me? Let the second bowl of water wash away. I don't want to... regrets. <laughs> Could you stop that? And the third, your pride. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to do anything that's that takes me away from my previous calm life of just carving out wood into things. I'm not a pussy. I'm not fit for a position of leading people. Sometimes duty finds us. Duty, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gillian genuinely fucking glares at Jeff. Anyway, I, I knighted Julian. That's what glare. I wanted to do. <laughs> Awesome. I mean, <laughs> you saw how it went with the gnomes at ten, and then he looks at he looks at Abigail. I mean, not at all. Nothing happened. <laughs> Julian, many fine gnomes follow your lead. This could be an opportunity to start something good. People do look to you. I know you had your differences with 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 father before, Julian, but. After all that's happened, I, I really do think that he wouldn't mind. Not that he has much of a choice anymore. Can I like? I'll, can I do? A, can I do a check it. to try and really convince him to get into this? Sure, persuasion check if you want to okay, cool. actually rile cool, him up cool. yeah, with yeah, all yeah. the water. I'm gonna do persuasion. I want to rile him up. Fuck, that's not good. I got a three <laughs> plus six. You know what? Uh, uh, I'm using. I'm using. I'm using. Um, I'm gonna use uh, my favored by the gods to add two d four to that. I really want him to be into this, man. Okay. Okay, adds three. Ugh, it takes it from a nine to a 12. 12? If the DC was 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> yes, thank God. All well, right, let's I'll, go. I'll think about it. I'll give it a shot. And 
If it feels right, I'll I'll do what I can. I I'll, I'll I'll do what I can to help you, Abigail. Man, this is this is great, you know. Town's getting helped out. You guys are getting led. He still got a fucking moon on his wrist, and we don't know what to do about that. Just everyone's really. Yeah. He needs a cool yeah. knight name. What shall his cool knight name be? Julian. Julius. Jul no, we can't. We <laughs> add a title. We add a title. Comb. Juby. S Juby. <laughs> That's, you're just saying Judge. Juby. Judge. Ju Julian Jibo. Rat Seeker. Julie Jibo. Co po Comer. Comb. Jubilee Comb Jibo Striker. Jambalaya. The Comer. I'm the Comer. I hated that. I hate that. <laughs> what? It's the, what? You don't have anything better. I don't know. Julian, the the ex the very well groomed. Let's get a nice ring to it. Julian, like the groomer. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Julian, 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 you just got power. Julian, it's been right, eight right. minutes, I draw Julian. My, I draw my whalebone longsword and I cut his head off. <laughs> Julian, it's been eight minutes. Oh. I his head off. You just got power. No. Cut his head off. <laughs> no. He dies. He dies. He dies. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Julian. Oh my fucking god! I did not. I was trying to roll. I was trying to mold it. I really want to keep that in. I thought that was super funny. Yeah, yeah. Keep, yeah, no. keep it in. It's, it's not that bad. <clears throat> oh, maybe not. Oh, no, no, you, you, you Abigail go. Mm, maybe not. Uh, Jay, do you keep? Do you hmm? keep that that metal? Shown. Oh mm, no, it'd be like deep in my pocket at this point. So. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have it out. I wouldn't okay. bring it out either. I have to ask though. Abby s speaks up. Are you all pirates? Yeah. I think we're, I'm yeah, loose pirates. on the I'm loose on the definition. He's a pirate. We're pirates, yeah. Yeah, we're pirates. <laughs> this is my crew. Aha, yes, all of these things. <laughs> <sighs> I've never met pirates. But if they're all as, I guess, selfless. They're not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> they, Maybe. They, they are not. Yeah. I mean, we're really not either. It's just mm. kind of getting dragged uh, by someone. I'm a very, am I a good pirate, Chip? You're doing great, pal. <laughs> sure, buddy. You're doing <laughs> tip top. Well. You have a very special group or crew, then if they're all, if they're not all like you, I'm sure that if, um, we will obviously give you what we have and help you get off with a new ship, even though it might take a few weeks. And when you leave, I will make sure that my, my father repays his, his, his debt to these people. Mm -hmm. But if you kept helping others, maybe the pirates wouldn't have such a bad connotation. Hmm. You know, I never considered that instead of stealing the money from people, you could just be nice to them and they'd give it to you. That has always been an option, yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm I don't honestly that. afraid Stealing that we don't, an option. we don't have enough to repay what you've done. <laughs> Keep that energy low. Whatever, whatever is, is comfortable and convenient. If the ship is too much, I can, like a dolphin, swim across the sea holding I these almost, two. I almost hands. drowned last time you did that, Gil. We need a ship. We need a ship. Us. Before I collapse of exhaustion. I <laughs> He's going to kill us both. The sea. We need a we ship. Died. Minimum ship. Okay, please. He blew, up, listen. he blew up the last one. He did. He did do that. Yeah. Listen, end of day, I'm just happy that 
you and your people are safe, I guess. The money and the ship are, are, are extra. No? Well... <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, yes. They are. All in I'm a day. glad days. we can all see eye to eye on this. It's, it's alright to be honest, Chip. I... He wants money. That's just, you know... I, I do. do. Yeah, okay. And, yeah. and if we're being frank, I do. <laughs> but I guess of it's course. not so bad. That, uh, mm -hmm. Town's alright. You're, you got your lady back. Not so bad, Jules. Well, we don't actually know if the town is all right because we haven't been there yet. That's true. Oh, yeah, we um, should I'm check just... right away. I oh, start yeah. sprinting towards the town. <laughs> um, what is he? Stop doing that! I run after him. I don't run after him. If I step on way. a bug wrong, I'll go down. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to the mayor and, and try to like pull him up to his feet at this point. Listen. <laughs> Yeah, he looks up with, with very sorrowful eyes that are that are much more sunken in than they were when you met mm -hmm. him. And listen, Roland. Everybody Roland Laughlin goes through hard times. Okay, I don't. You shouldn't be Roland Laughlin. This is very serious. It's just my name. No, it, 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 stop joking around, please. This is so serious. I hope we get the I hope we get the raffle cup for magic <laughs> item after this stuff. <laughs> Go on. Listen, everybody goes through hard times sometimes, but it's how we react to those hard times that really define our character. You messed up horribly, okay, but I don't think you're incapable of good. I know there was real genuine concern for your people and for your daughter in there when I talked to you, okay? And I know that was true. You just... <laughs> you have a lot of work to do. <laughs> To really make up to those people who trusted you. Those other two do not deserve you. <laughs> and your wisdom. <laughs> I'm laughing at character because that's funny out of character and in character. You're so right. Okay, I should probably catch up to them now, though. <laughs> and I, I but... run off. <laughs> Kill not another bug! Oh, they're. <laughs> yeah. Die! As, as you turn Stop! away, oh, you just God. hear very soft. Thank you. And uh, his his daughter helps him up and, and, and puts his arm around her, her shoulders and you all kind of jog towards back towards the town now, I'm assuming. Gillian, you're going to piss off the bugs again. <laughs> I step on a bug wrong and since I have one HP, I step on the I step on the little mandible and just fucking... Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> I'm unconscious. Yeah. I try, to, I try to slash a bug and it jumps over it and bites me lightly on the arm. I pass out. <laughs> what are you doing? Get... You? I, I think he's dead. Okay. Or the beasts of the forest. <laughs> All right. Let's draw on his face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, chip. It was a bit. It was a bit. Chip. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I wanted. To, I draw. I actually do. I draw a big swirly mustache. No, you. No, I'm conscious. Yes, I do. You know what? I draw. Fine, I draw no, a don't. smiley face on his cheek. Yeah. Fine. I'm dead. I'm died. I've died. I You're not I actually <laughs> unconscious, are you? <laughs> Well, I, I'll pick him back up. I'll carry him to the town. No, I am right. un I'm unconscious now. Yeah. Sure. Fuck We're it. doing this bit. I'm Fuck it. Yep. It's, it's All right. Got to. Got to. All of you. I'm committed. Um, after uh, 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 Julian and, uh, and Abigail and the mayor catch up to you guys running off to check on town, you, you exit the forests, the north woods of this island, and you walk around the building of town hall. It's, it's evening at this point. The air has become more chilled. The atmosphere is as calm as uh, the tides on a shore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understood that <laughs> reference. You're welcome. And immediately, as you guys come around this corner and you come back to the main road or the, or the entrance of Town Hall where before was a gathered group of these angry gnomes, it's now you look down and you see townsfolk huddled on the streets and they're all still laughing. <laughs> I, I, I stop in my tracks. I stop I'm so in my glad tracks. I'm unconscious I, for this. I'm so I'm, glad I'm unconscious. I'm so glad. I'm like, Gil's gonna wake up and be so pissed about. Uh, <laughs> and come on, man. And, and, no, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they better be doing a really good bit. It is all a right? really good bit. They better be doing a really fucking good bit. They're all still laughing. 
except only some are. You see that some are on the steps of their homes sobbing together, others celebrating and interacting with faces of genuine, genuine relief. You gather that word in this town spread very, very quickly about the mission that you all set on. And because as a few, uh, as, as, as like a few take notice of you guys coming out of, of the woods and coming back onto the main road, people take notice, see the mayor, uh, see abigail see julian and then there's an immediate rush as as you hear from from this new crowd of people that comes uh to greet you all uh and you hear words like they're back and abigail's alive and and people start to crowd and gather around all of you now i have a mustache please i'm please. gonna i'm gonna heal <laughs> very quickly heal gillian just so no, you are <laughs> i think it'd be really funny if i was out this whole this whole time <laughs> when the attention comes i just drop him right off my shoulder and like, oh my god I, I kneel down please, and I'm like, oh my god <laughs> control yourselves yes we are the heroes i i do heal you though <laughs> See, for how much hp two hp great <laughs> The mayor, um, the mayor just kind of looks so exhausted, raises his hand and, and nods towards, uh, Julian and you guys, and Abigail actually says, uh, I'll, I'll be back in a second, and then she takes, uh, him inside of, of Town Hall, uh, and you guys are just faced with this crowd, and Julian, hey, Gil, uh, Chip, I if did. you, if you want, if you guys want to say anything as they're all, you know, looking. The, the mustache wasn't me, by the way, Gail. Townsfolk okay. of Loth and Lot, I say, with a mustache on my face, are you... <laughs> Have you been freed of this curse? There, there is. There's people who are who are, are shouting like like questions like like what happened? Like where did you? Where have you been? And there's people. Uh, you can you can see that in this crowd of people now. Um, there is no, there is no sinister uh, forced uh, smiles anymore. There, the cheeks aren't glued into that 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 pulled position, that upwards pulled position, uh, and people seem normal in this crowd and then as as you look down the road above this crowd you can just see that there's the street is filled at the moment i'm gonna push chip forward a little bit and kind of nod at him <clears throat> to say something yeah with my <laughs> hands outstretched i say yes we have freed you of your curse we ventured into the woods and stopped the evil what was, was it a wizard the, the, the what witch, was doctor? Wish, wish doctor a wish doctor we stopped, we stopped him. Please, no, no, please, d uh, don't open your wallets. Oh, sir, oh, sir, you don't have to do, oh, sure, yes, Why I, 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 I will take, I will, him to go I will, I will did... take that. No, yes, and, you know, I, we would, we would much appreciate if you would open your hearts and your wallets You're for just... the great heroes of Laugh and Lot. Persuade, <laughs> persuasion, persuasion, persuasion. Maybe, oh, maybe some check. oranges, actually. I'd love some oranges. Give us Wait, all can I do, your money. Can I do, can I do performance? Because it's like it's supposed to yes, be like a grand speech. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'll let let you do it. yeah. Yes. Natural one. <laughs> you rolled a natural one. <laughs> the people. You did it. You did it. The you people did it. look. The people who look excited, eager to, to hear the, the what has happened, uh, hear you speak and look at you asking for money, and they just feel they, they there's a look of disgust as these people have gone through torment actual torture and then uh, this this fucking boisterous uh young lad walks up and asks for money i uh, claiming to have saved them all but as you finish your speech uh, uh, you, what, what were they gonna do actually i'm just looking in like complete disgust and disappointment as well yeah their faces always, are have all always. have all uh melted into that same expression and then julian actually uh, raises his small arm up you know as in his gnome stature and he yes. says uh, <laughs> hey everybody, what up? <laughs> and they all they all kind of adjust uh, their their heads. So, so guys, no, mayor now. <laughs> so no on the, no on the dough, no, no dough. Just shut up. Hey, listen. <laughs> no, Julian we'll, we'll, showed we'll exceptional. Julian showed exceptional bravery back there in the wood, and due to the circumstances. I uh. Chip, just back up for a second, all right? You'll get your due. You'll get what's due, I promise. Don't chip. He's got this. <laughs> you see, uh, you see, there was a few gnomes that were actually waiting to see if Julian ever returned. Let's and they, go! they, and, uh, and, 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 and Julian kind of 
puffs his chest out forward and does two snaps and these gnomes come from both sides of the road and they roll these little crates uh towards him and then they stack them on top of each other and he hops up and he says i cast i cast bless on him okay okay <laughs> he feels it a magical sense of of your encouragement the blessing uh and he looks towards everybody and he just says i don't know how <laughs> And shit, I don't even understand it all quite myself, but these, uh, are you pi pirates, right? Newcomers to our town by whatever wicked destiny. In a few days, managed to free all of you and all of us from that facade of joy. <laughs> they took care of it. Somehow, <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, he looks at uh, you guys for a second, feels that that uh, that blast. What did you roll on it? It's a D4, right? Oh, or do he, I, gets, do I he, gets an, he gets an extra D4 to it. Yeah, okay. I also realized since you add, um, bl bless applies on uh, three creatures, so I'm gonna give it to, to Chip and, and Jay as well as him. Thanks, man. So All right, yeah, you get an extra D4 that you add. Um, oh shit, wait. Just, just you know, his his role to yeah. uh, to uh, inspire her is a twenty three. Ooh. Oh, damn. <laughs> plus, plus. Here, I'll roll a d four for you. Plus a four. Oh shit. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. There's a tear in Jay's eye. They freed the whole island out of the goodness of their own hearts, and. They brought back Abigail. There's a lot that will be explained eventually, and I'll make sure I get the full story one way or another so that everybody knows and we don't repeat what has happened to us. And the mayor, well, former mayor, and he gives this smolder towards the crowd, <laughs> has a lot to make up for, and I promise, swear it on the book of name that he will. Oh my but god, tonight. we actually did, we actually did overthrow the government. We did it! It's all come full circle, baby! Oh my god! Yes! Seize the means of production, <laughs> Julian. But tonight, regardless of all that, let's party! And the entire <laughs> crowd erupts in a loud cheer. This is the first cheer of laughter that is sincere, pure happiness. Once again, <laughs> what is this battle cry? This crowd, this crowd uh, uh, disperses, and you see people run into uh, Old Man Earl's tavern just down the road a little bit, and and from other buildings start bringing out these tables, food, alcohol from places, uh, uh, from like from like the Orange Tavern, mm -hmm. uh, as well as like mm -hmm. camp camp campfires, bed rolls, tents. This alleyway town, from the northernmost end to the southernmost oh entrance, is awake, lively, lit up, and finally happy mm -hmm, fucking sweet. heroes feast can Again. i roll the pop off <laughs> wanna, you can roll the pop off this is Let's this go. is basically a a, a a banquet from from tip to tip uh, at the moment celebrating their freedom oh that's awesome all right i want to surf all the way down the entire table before you do the <laughs> before you do this wait you you were confused about what was happening or what was the deal yeah i didn't know what the fuck's going on i don't know what this okay. is I, I i know what a celebration is but i've never seen okay, that mind. okay before. I got a 16 to surf down the entire table. Okay. Uh, there's, there's like, there is a long table, but not as long as the alleyway, because that would be impossible. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking impossible. It is still a pretty long alleyway. Yeah, of, I, sur of, of, I surf of, of down, the the, I surf down the table. I want to fucking kick flip a turkey into my mouth or some nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Did you roll I it? Wanna, what, do, what do you two want to do? I want to party like crazy. I want to teach Gil how to party. I got I wanna, a 16. I don't want to. I keep, keep giving right. alcohol to Jay. I'm, I'll, I'll drink it all. Yeah, fuck it. We're going in. <laughs> I can't stand. I can't weird. stand. You keg stand? I can't stand. We just party like no. crazy, and I'm like <laughs> cheering. I want to get um. I want to see if Gil will will do another keg stand I as feed, well. I, I want to. Pretzel, I want I to regret everything chips. tomorrow. I feed pretzel chips. Okay. Um. Did you, do you? What did you roll for the uh, for the slide turkey maneuver? I rolled acrobatics an or something. Five, I rolled a sixteen. <laughs> sure. Yeah. 
That happens for, for absolutely. That is just for certain. That is what happens. Awesome. Yeah. Why not? It's a fucking party. Oh, I wanna, You're cool. I want to break out into a choreographed song and dance number with some of the people. I, I definitely join in on this dance number. <laughs> Yeah, oh my I god, start, I start break dancing. <laughs> you can, don't forget you guys have an extra d4 on all these. Yeah, Chip, I, I'm gonna use it. Roll a uh, persuasion check with advantage and a d4. To persuade persuasion. people to join this, yes. Okay. I'm, jo I'm with joining. A, with advantage? Yes. Okay. And d4. 21. All right, you absolutely uh, convince the surround the people surrounding you guys to join into this uh, impromptu dance number and musical song. Now, both of you roll per performance check. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, wait, is Gil joining too? I want to join. Fuck yeah! I'm go joining. for it. Roll performance check with him. Fuck Add yeah! What the hell do you think I am? Oh, I got a Add two a plus D4. four, a six. Nineteen. I got twenty-four <laughs> on my performance. Okay, okay, all of you. Uh, what? <laughs> Do you have in mind what song and dance you're doing? No, I would just like make one up on the spot and I don't think anyone else would be able to say I, I know why. Yeah, I'm like very not on the same page with this. I do a uh, I do a somber waltz re re recollecting uh, the events of of our adventure while the others are just fucking partying because I rolled the six. <laughs> a few of uh, you guys uh, see that a few of um, uh, ones that were not uh, ones that you encountered, but a few uh, bald men come out with uh, d an assortment of instruments from from violin oh to to, uh, to flutes too? and tap sure they're, they're tab dancing <laughs> and they start <laughs> yes. the music uh, that you guys sing and dance to uh, and mm -hmm. and uh, somewhere along <laughs> this this number you all link arms together and and, do like, and oh, you're yeah. swaying yeah. tankards uh, back and forth and up. skipping in a circle piano, together jumping around absolutely. <laughs> Um, and you do this long uh, into the night until everyone eventually knocks out, passes out. This whole a whole entire alleyway, the road is covered with people laying on the dirt uh, of the floor. <laughs> Wild party, <laughs> or in their Destroy or in their the bedrolls or tents. But you guys just completely, um, you guys knock out, and that's where we end the episode. Yeah. Woo! You guys Man. are gonna wake up with regrets. Yes, so <laughs> much regrets. <sighs> Maybe I mean I've got I've got one big regret, uh, which was you know, <laughs> making <laughs> a deal with the wish doctor, huh? Yeah. Sure. Hey, you know, but do you really want to talk cool. about that? I do want to talk about that. Let's save it. Where can let's we talk about it. that, guys? Let's save it for just rolled with it over on oh, Patreon. The show. Oh, the show. We talk about the show. If you want to go check that out on patreoncom slash just roll with it. And of course, okay. thank Audio you listeners. to all you wonderful patrons. It is I, Gillian Tide Strider, and now I shall not only list off every high roller patron, but also knight them as well. The big motherfucking cheese, you are now the knight of things that are very dairy. Splash, another Shay, I knight you as the knight of duplication, how are there so many shays? Cake Vape Master 69, I knight you now, I bestow upon you no title, for you are already the Vape Master. I am just impressed by your skill with the jewel. Your jewel shines brighter than all the rest. Keep vaping. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't hold it together. I knight you, CL. As the one who always CLs evil. Cornier Comet, I knight you as the strongest knight in the solar system. Deviator, despite your devious acts, you will make an excellent knight. Indy Mindy 9, I knight you now. You always run in alone, but even when you do, you do it right. Jay Newell, looking fresh, so I shall knight you as the knight of freshness. J-R-W-I, enjoyer, may you enjoy the blessing of the dice that I bestow upon you. Jumpiest Venus 34, I knight you now as the solitary knight of Venus. There's not really anyone on there, but you'll do a great job. The King of Ranch, I need not knight you, for you are already a king. 
What are you doing with that bottle? What? <laughs> that was pretty good ranch. Kirby, Wafro, may your strikes be true and your heart stay just. Non axolotl, you shall represent all of the axolotls around the globe. May you do them justice. Old Man Skeletal, the Knight of Bones, always standing no matter how hard the blows may fall. Reshi Snivy, never have I met one more daring and courageous than you. I bestow upon you knighthood. Riker Kurotu, I knight you as well. And may we go out for splashies sometime. Salutatien, one knight in Lothenlot won't be enough. You will serve as their second. Serene is actually a skeleton, but it matters not, for you are also actually a knight. Walmart man, you are the most powerful of us all. Even now, I still find myself lost in your aisles. Your gal pal Valerie V, I now bestow knighthood upon you and tell you in truth, you are all of our gal pals, Valerie V. Thank you to all of these wonderful patrons, and if you wish to be read out loud next episode, you need only head over to patreon.com slash just roll with it. Thank you for listening, and I, Gillian Tidestrider, will squirt you later.